Hi, welcome. So the first topic that we're going to be going over in this um, math tutorials is going to be vector addition. So I'm going to be going over this in, in excruciating detail um, and basically how and why we do vector addition. Okay, so I have two vectors on the screen. One vector A that has an angle of theta with respect to the y-axis, and then our vector B, which has an angle of phi with respect to the x-axis. So the first thing that we, what we want to do is we want to find A plus B. So the most important thing to remember about vectors is that they both have a magnitude and a direction. And in this case, they have directions that are both in the X direction and the Y direction. So when we're adding vectors together, we cannot just simply add their magnitudes together. So when we add our vectors together, we can only add their like components together. What do I mean by that? Well, we can only add the X components together and the Y components together to create our new vector A plus B. So let's break down each of these into its components and go from there. So I'm gonna start with B because it's a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a straight line down from its tail of its vector. So this is the tip down here, and this is its tail. And this creates a right triangle here. So that's our right triangle. It has a per it's perpendicular with the x-axis and it's parallel to the y-axis. So this right here is our y component or our by and this right here is our bx component so if we want to find the magnitude of those we want to use trig so since this is a right triangle we can do that so let's start with bx so what trig function should we use to define bx, right? We want to use the cosine function. So if you remember, we could do SOHCAHTOA So sine s is opposite over hypotenuse, Ka, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and TOA, t tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to use cosine in the x direction because it is a it is the adjacent side to our angle that we defined phi so our bx is equal to b which is the magnitude of the hypotenuse times cosine phi this comes from the fact that cosine phi is equal to the adjacent side, which is our bx, over our hypotenuse, which has a magnitude of b. So if we're solving for bx, which is what we want, we want to solve for the magnitude of bx, we're going to multiply b over here, and that's how we get our b cosine phi. Okay, so now let's do by. So similarly, what function should we use to define by? Right, we want to use sine. So b sine phi. So now let's do a. So I'm going to draw it this way so we can get used to finding angles that are not defined or given to us. So our angle is defined over here with respect to the y-axis. So what angle in our triangle that I am drawing, it would be the same angle as is given to us. So would it be this one up here or this one down here? 
Right, it's the upper one. So I'm going to define r theta up here. So now let's do the same thing that we did with b. So what is the trig function that we need to use to get the x component of a? So this one down here, we want to use the sine function. So I'm going to write a sine theta which is the magnitude of the x direction. OK, so now let's do the y component. What trig function do I need to use to define the y component of a? Right, I want to use the cosine function. So I'm going to write a cosine theta. OK. So now we want to actually start solving this problem. So it's important to remember that we can only add like components together. So I can only add X components with the other X components and Y components with other Y components. So what I'm going to write now is how I want to define A plus B. So A plus B is equal to ax plus bx x hat plus ay plus by y hat. Let's start with the y components first because it's a little bit easier. So in the y direction, our a component is a cosine theta. And that's going upward. So we know that it is going up towards the positive y direction. And our y component in B is also going upwards in towards the positive y direction. So those two added together will make a more positive y component of our A plus B vector. So what I'm going to do is say, OK, now that's also going to be equal to b sine phi and it gets a y hat because it's going in the positive y direction okay so b the x component is a little bit more difficult so we have a our x component in a is going in the positive x direction but our direction in b is going in the negative direction so I'm going to define that since this is going to be the positive x direction and this is going to be the negative x direction, I'm going to say that the magnitude of x for b is negative. So now let's do the addition for the x component of a and b. So a, since it's going in the positive direction, will have a sine theta, just like before. Plus, our bx has a negative component now. So it's minus b cosine phi x hat. So now I'm going to say that a plus b is equal to a sine theta minus b cosine phi x hat plus a cosine theta plus b sine phi y hat. And that is our final answer. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, and so what we're going to be doing next is using a vector addition to be solving a Coulomb's law problem.